Monday morning, ready to go. Right now, uh, I need to do some computer work, like always, and uh, send an email for this because now I saw, oh my God, I'm like, <sighs> so now this one is on the middle, right? Middle standard. Okay, so the front end goes higher. What's happening? Guess what? Look how short this one it gets. So, yeah, yeah. So I need to I need to order a new one. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yes, let's go. Let's do that. I was getting the B thirty one ready for the pickup, but uh, now the owner told me like, hey, it's really what uh, bad weather, and it is. So uh, I think I'm gonna come th uh, Thursday, and I was like, ah. <laughs> okay, I get it. I I, I thought so already. So um, yeah. So let's put it to the side again. Time to change now this one and then uh, start to build up the engine. So, yeah, okie dokie, it's gonna be a long day. Okay, so now I did the preload and now there we go. That's one. Let's see now. Nice. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. So right now I have this problem. I I actually I open already the the rocker, the rocker uh, case. I open it and I didn't get. Uh, I saw the inside and it was fine. It's not like uh, in the other velo that is all damaged. So I don't know, but this one now it's every time I put this one in, on pressure, this one it locks. Only this one, the inlet is good, but the exhaust it stays in place. So. Now I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's the rocker arm that is twisted from the, from the, when it did hit the, um, the, um, the piston, maybe, I don't know. Or that the guy valve needs to have more tolerance so it runs more freely, that could be too. Or that the spring itself, it's, uh, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have enough power to to move all this that's what i'm thinking too so i'm gonna check each and every one of those three things yeah oh my god i found it <laughs> wow wow <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> okay okay let's try to show it so Let's see if I can show it, but I think that one, yes, let's see, that one is just touching the cover, because if you look here, it's really difficult, but I saw it, it's free. Let's try to find it. Come on. Sorry. It takes so long to show it, but it's an easy. Yeah, there you go. That is free. You can see that it's free. But in this one, you can see it's not. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, let's short that one. It's weird because here is all the way. So yeah. Maybe maybe there are uh, long, uh, different uh, lengths from the ones from from here. Oh sorry, from the ones from here and there. I don't know. She's all back together, uh, the carburetor too. Where is it now? Here, uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting tired now, I'm tired, really tired. So yeah, that's why I'm stopping actually. <laughs> but I, I made it. Uh, I still need to put the exhaust and the carburetor. The carburetor tomorrow I'm gonna get the um, new gaskets for here in the middle. And uh, this one, the little one here, I need to have a new one. But I want to have it in copper and not in paper, so yeah. And a fluid gasket that it can handle gasoline because the mine, the the one I have, it's it's totally empty and I really need it. So yeah, that's going to happen tomorrow. But the engine now it's finally ready to go. Uh, the timing, it's good. Everything is good to go. So yeah. Hopefully tomorrow I can start it, and who knows, maybe I get lucky and I can even do a test ride. Another day. Okay, so let's uh, let's get at it. Right now, uh, it's too early because the shops right now, they are closed. So I'm going to start to build up the engine, this one. And later on, like I can uh, around, I don't know, around 11 or so, I will stop and go and pick up the stuff to for from the car for the carburetor. So yeah, let's do that. And uh, yeah, let's finish this one at least the the bottom bottom end. Put the the oil pump and everything. So yeah, let's get at it. <laughs> I weld this one too, so it doesn't come out of the place. So voila. And uh, when I was welding, uh, of course, because now it's hot, I took it out and it just, it was just like click and boing, it come off. So it was not good, that's for sure. I, I mean, the inside was not good, but I didn't expect that it would be so loose. So I need to make a new one. That's the thing. And then, uh, yeah, then uh, I need to refine this shape, yeah.
voila, it's in. I need to refine this, this face and here, voila. So it looks like this. I put it on pressure, so that means that the inner, inner um, diameter, I need to hone it to the proper size. And voila, yeah. Still need to make a, like a groove so the oil can go in and out, yeah. So voila, happy. Unfortunately, even though I made it with my uh, leather, I still have too much play, or at least I don't like it. Yeah, that's that's too much. Yeah, not always it's good. Right now I'm back, I got the gasket, fluid gasket, but I don't know because it's a new one, so I don't trust it. So let's see, hopefully, yeah, they told me that it's it's usable in gasoline, but I don't know, I don't know, I have my, my doubts. So we'll see, I'm gonna put the carburetor back and um, then, uh, yeah, take the carburetor back and what, what else I'm missing? Uh, I think this one, the carburetor has a um, screw here and the screw here, this one should have a, a ring on it or a gasket, but I don't have that gasket and at the shop they didn't have and I wanted to have a proper uh, copper ring. So they don't have it, so I'm gonna make one out of this. So yeah, that's the idea. Let's do it. Okay, so another day, another journey, let's go. Um, today I want to finish this. Yesterday I needed to make it twice. I got too much uh, play in it and I didn't like that. That's one and then I found out that actually one side, this side and this side is conical. So it goes from bigger to smaller. So that I need to seem to to be able to repair it too, so we will see. So let's get at it, let's go. Voila! With passion and dedication, voila! This is like, yeah, perfect. That's perfect. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. No play, let's see. No play, but it's free. Now I need to finish this. I need to open this one, this one, and take all the material off. And then I need to make the groove inside of the of uh, the bearing so the oil can move freely on this one. So voila, really happy, finally.
bike runs beautifully, like it sounds, and I can put it in a low RPM. That's that's really really nice. I like it. It sounds like pop 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 pop. So that's really nice. The only thing is, of course, it's getting loose. So uh, yeah, now I'm going to get it in, try to fix it that it doesn't move. By the way, I was thinking. Uh, a friend of mine told me, like, hey, Francisco, you should teach people. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing that already on YouTube. And he says, like, no, 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 no. Teach people, like a proper course. So I was thinking, huh, I can do videos and then make, like, this course that you guys can follow it or something like that. And, <coughs> yeah, let me know what you would like to know about about your motorcycle, like, I don't know, it can be basic stuff, but can be really difficult things. So just let me know and I will gather all that information and make some videos. Yeah. And later on, I will release it. I think so. Yeah. So, okay. Just think about it. Uh, let's get to the, on with this one. Thursday morning and uh, yeah right now I'm gonna clean up the welding table get ready because Joran is gonna bring uh, well it's gonna come to finish the two saplings uh, in the meantime I'm gonna put this one in the oven so it warms up and it's quick it's easier to to weld it and then um, uh, meantime if I get this all this ready I'm going to weld this one too Yep, that's uh, exhaust. I need to put this ones. To show it. This one's there, you know, like this. Pop. That's the idea. So let's go and do that. Let's go. And uh, later on, uh, now that the Velo engine is done, at least the the bottom end. Uh, now I can do the Norton 750 uh, crankcase. And uh, just wait now for the pistons to come to me from uh, Andover, Andover uh, Norton. So it's already on my way. So hopefully next week I get it and then I can finish the engine. That would be beautiful. Nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let's see, let's see. update on the royal project so i bring it to frank and we measure and the right side what is the timing the timing uh, gears that side the right side of the engine the two bearings was loose the brass one this one I, I knew it already but the other one actually the from one of the main bearings from the right side it's uh, loose so he's gonna machine it and make it proper so voila that's one um, I still need to do some research on the the ECU just to double check something when I know for sure then I will explain it but yeah 
Uh, meantime, now I'm gonna move on with this one. Uh, I got this one back too. And it looks really nice. So, voila. And so later on, I want to build up this one, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't have that many hours in a day, unfortunately. Uh, so let's just start with this one. And when I'm done with this one, let's jump with the other one and just take it and take it. And I think in about 50 minutes or so, somebody's gonna come with a motorcycle, Bart. And um, uh, yeah, I might need to help him to adjust the carburetor. So let's see, let's see. Yes, poco a poco. Build up the engine. Friday morning, let's go! Today the, uh, the owner of the B31 is gonna, is gonna come and to pick it up, so I'm happy, you know? And uh, now we'll get some more room, but unfortunately, <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna get another bike in, so yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's like a non-stop uh, thing. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So keep on pushing, keep on pushing, let's go. Uh, yeah, right now uh, I want to, to start with the, with the Norton because uh, yesterday I got the package. Let's see. So voila, the package. Um, here are the decibel killers. So I will need to make them fit to the Norton. And uh, <coughs> once that's done, then I can uh, move on with the uh, with uh, yeah adjusting of the carburetors and check the clutch because I modified now the clutch. I put a, a extra metal plate and see if it works better. And if it don't, then I will order new plates. Yeah, but the plates actually they look good. They are not bad. Like thickness is okay. -ish. Yeah, so. It should run good with uh, the ones they have already, so yes, we will see, we will see. Okay, let's see how loud So this is what's happening with the aftermarket parts. So it's getting loose. That's the only bad thing. So I guess the thread is not strong enough. It got broken or so. And then uh, yeah, now I will need to make a new one. Yeah.
glad you're still spinning. Okay, so Saturday morning, let's uh, check this lady. <clears throat> Yesterday I was testing and uh, I still don't get right the timing. And it's not that the timing is wrong, it's that I cannot read it. With the stroposcope, I put it and the lights goes on when it's in a stationer. But once it goes in the RPM, when I open the gas, it just falls off. So no light at all. And I thought it was my... my my light, uh, my timing light was broken, so I bought a new one. The same deal. <laughs> so I think it's something with the magneto. Maybe it's dirty and uh, it gets it's filter somewhere, and that's why it's it's reacting like that. I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna clean up the contact points. I'm gonna open this one and clean it up too, and uh, change the spark plug, and. I don't know and see see because it's so weird so yeah let's see let's see So, after cleaning up the magneto and changing the spark plug and so, right now what I get is that I, I get every time a, a kickback from the motorcycle. So, uh, that means that it's too early because every time I, I, I'm going to kick it just, just when the exhaust valve is closing, then I go and bam, and then normally it starts. But right now I get a kickback, so that means that it's too early. So I need to adjust it and then see, see if, uh, yeah, see if I can read it. So, okay, so more next week. And of course I did show this one. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Okay, so another day, another journey, let's go. Um, today I want to finish this. Yesterday I needed to make it twice. I got too much uh, play in it and I didn't like that, that's one. And then I found out that actually one side, this side and this side is conical. So it goes from bigger to smaller. So that I need to seem to to be able to repair it too, so we will see. So let's get at it, let's go. So the bike runs beautifully, like it sounds, and I can put it in a low RPM. That's that's really, really nice, I like it. It sounds like pop, 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 pop. So that's really nice. The only thing is, of course, it's getting loose. So uh, yeah, now I'm going to get it in, try to fix it that it doesn't move. <coughs> but I was thinking for sure some people, some Velocet owners, they have some, uh, some tools that they made or so. So I think that I'm going to try to do some special tools like that, like this kind of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 